Do we keep a Dusk Breaker? I think we can. Uh, no. Actually, maybe we could have kept both things, honestly. Because if we get a really high, really high results right now, we're going to be kind of sad. Uh, this is okay as well. This gets a little draw. I mean, hopefully we can find more uh, Death Rattles so we can Twilight's Call for two. But we'll see. We'll see if we're going to be able to do the same thing as we did last game now or not. I think we play this without any fear. Because if all they do is hero power, we're golden. Whoa, Dragarn. You got rank one four stars. Congrats. Go, go, go. Keep pushing that. That's really, really good. I'm sure you'll get it. You're If you're that close, I, I really hope you do. I really hope you get it. That's awesome. One day I'll be that close. <laughs> uh... Maybe. Maybe. Uh, not this season, though. I think we just eat it. I think we just attack. And then we'll top deck uh, Crystalline Oracle as well. And then we'll be golden. And we have to save this for after the uh, Spellstone now. We can't play this almost no matter what is on board. Almost no matter what's on board, we're not allowed to play Duskbreaker now. I think the best top deck would be Crystalline Oracle. We play the Crystalline Oracle. Attack into Explosive Trap. And then we play Twilight's Call to refill the board. I think that would be the best. Um, okay, so now we do it this way. Whoa. Okay, so my money is now on this being a rat trap, which is going to be reasonably easy for us to play around. We can't play three cards in one turn unless we have removal. Okay, that's kind of scary. So now this one I'm assuming... Oh, hello. Oh, that maybe is better, huh? Mm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let's think through... Let's just attack here. Wait, what did we have uh, go down here? A loot hoarder. So we can get a lot more draw if we need it. No snipe? Okay, let's just wait then. Let's wait, because I wouldn't mind actually getting this back against Hunter. And we're still holding this. We're just holding Duskbreaker for when they spell stone. Um, <laughs> yeah, always talks. Always talks about people sniping me. It's always, uh, always a fun part of the conversation for me, that's for sure. Um, yeah, let's just Duskbreak it. Let's just break, take the... We don't want to attack into these just yet, I don't think. We'll continue to clear their board. They're not doing any damage to us. So that's very good. Uh, our quest is easily completed from hand. We have another four in hand. Um, so that's very good. This just lets us trade easier with the board in the event that they have a second. Like, if they have a second Spellstone, we're going to be kind of scared. They don't. At least right now. So that's very good. And if they just want to keep doing this, we win the fatigue game, I think, because eventually we, we will Archbishop. Um, what do we want more of? We can go 5, 6, and 7, and heal. I don't mind if you roll need. It's a lot of rolling need, though. How much draw do we have? We're good. Okay, we're good here. I think we're very good, actually. Uh, we got our Amara, so we feel very safe. We obviously don't want to attack into their Eagle Horn Bow. I mean, they might attack knowing that they have another one in hand or something. But, because they're not going to do much damage to us otherwise. To my side. Ooh, the best to my side. I think we attack with this one first, so that we can get the Dragon activation back. I'm expecting one of these to be a Freezing. I mean, I said I was expecting it, not that it was. <laughs> Oops. Um, give hey, give me that. Uh, maybe we should have gone this one first. Nope, we're very happy about that. Nice. Uh, we can draw up to nine right now. I'm happy about that. That's a pretty good one as well. And then I'll gladly just go Primordial Drake. Okay, so we've got a handful of resources. We really kind of want Archbishop Benedictus, though. 
Ooh, I really want uh, some way to deal with my allergies so my nose stops being quite so itchy. Uh, is that going to be a hunter's mark? I'm okay with that. Um, what do we want the most right now? I think we wait. We wait. We have one more turn anyways. We have one more turn and then we can just start Shadow Reapering our opponent down. And maybe that'll put enough pressure on them to start doing things. Yeah, they're going to burn a couple cards from their deck, so that's good. We're going to be even. The scary thing is obviously going to be a Rexar. Would they play it right away? Of course they would. Um, okay, so now the game plan changes, unfortunately, for us. Um, and they get one of these procs. Maybe we should have gone fast. <laughs> Can I test Spiteful Shaman to see if it's still strong after the nerfs? Uh, I actually disenchanted. I can't. I disenchanted my Spiteful Summoners. So I cannot test that for you, sorry. I actually disenchanted them, because I always disenchant before... Or, I mean, immediately after a um, an expansion. So, this is going to be Freezing, Rat Trap, and Wandering. Explosive, Wandering, and Rat Trap, I should say. You are safe now. It's fine. We're kind of going in on this right now anyways, so I don't mind applying, um, this isn't necessarily pressure, obviously. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm going to try and, yeah, I'm going to, I'm trying to cover for myself. That was probably a misplay. We probably should have held back on this. Giving them the 6-6 six, six is kind of bad. It's going to force our hand to play Shadow Reaper next turn. As long as we find Archbishop within five cards, I think we'll be okay. Because then that just puts our opponent way into fatigue. Um, we'll see though. Oh, a to my side instead of a zombie. Interesting. Uh oh. Is that gonna be the last hunter's mark? It is. Interesting. They want to go face. Face doesn't matter when we have another Amara friend. Just go face. <laughs> Go face, it doesn't matter. Oh, tracking, I don't want tracking. Hey, that's an acidic swamp ooze. Um, would we attack into this? We can attack into the explosive and the wandering, right? Yeah, we can, and then we can just eliminate their weapon, so that's good. This is probably a dead card, unless we top deck Archbishop right away. So what is better, removing their entire board? Or the weapon? I'm going to say the weapon's the best thing to do. Yep. Oh. Well, that's kind of terrifying. Not going to lie. <laughs> Flesh-eating ghoul can kind of be terrifying. Syndragosa just gave you Temporis, which made your opponent take two turns and draw two cards in Fatigue. Whoa. That would be awesome. That would be awesome to be able to Temporis for lethal. I mean, if you were that close to fatiguing your opponent, there's probably a good chance you would have won anyways, but that's still really, really cool. Uh, this is certainly scary. I mean, we obviously have some good outs. Um, yeah, zombies, can you please not do that, actually? Like, it'd be much cooler. Yeah, this is kind of a powerful minion, no? I know what I just did. Let's ignore it, everyone, if that's cool with you. Or if you're cool with that, I should say. I know what I did. We'll save this for next turn. Whoops. Oh... Oh, boy. Oh, is the misplay counter broken, apparently? Oh, I know what I did there. I forgot. I was looking at this dragon thinking two and then played this one for three. Uh, so that was an oopsie-daisy, it's fair to say. We really do need to find Archbishop, because our opponent will grind us out in terms of value. 
<laughs> Wouldn't be a stream with Fujo without a misplay? Yeah, maybe a misplay or two. Um, that's unfortunate. This should be down, yeah. We should be able to ping this once this coming turn. Oh, Stealth's to 8-5. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, we probably get stuck with a Primordial Drake right now. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it trades. It's just kind of, uh, you know, upsetting. We have to do it this way. Oh, well. Remember Dragonfire Potion? How good that was? Remember how good Dragonfire Potion was? Oh. So much fun. So much fun to be able to clear out boards like this. I mean, Psychic Scream still does pretty good work. But, without again, without Archbishop Benedictus, we're in a little bit of a lot of trouble. Uh-oh, what is that? Flanking. What's going on here? It's fine. Face damage doesn't really matter. In the traditional sense of face damage right now. Um, that's a lot more... Oh, we can't be targeted, though. That's why that's actually a problem. I keep forgetting... Let's do that. Actually, should we just summon these? Are we going to save them for Archie? That's the one we need right now. Let's do this. It's a little bit of armor. It's a little bit of ping to face, which is maybe going to be nice. Which is maybe going to be nice. And then it also lets up set. It also sets up this trade with uh, Spirit Lash being uh, board clear. Finally, uh, we would really love an Archbishop Benedictus right now. That's t probably our top card. Our opponent's been choosing very well. Like with the can't be targeted. That Cave Hydra was really good. If it's just big and massive and we can mind control it, that would be great. Um, and if it's big and massive and we need to psychic scream it, that's kind of okay. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a lot more of a. Obviously, this is a lot. Okay, understatement of the century. This is a more of a intense, scary game. Wow, two of them, huh? Um, yeah, this is probably going to be a psychically screamed. Do we want to give all of these or no? I will argue no. I could have gained one extra health. Misplay. That's okay. That's okay. And we could actually... Um, maybe we should have tracking for Archbishop. But I feel like there's too many cards that I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn our Alex. And I don't want to burn our last mind control. So if this tracking ended up being Archbishop, Alex, mind control, we, we get stuck with Archbishop. But we actually want those other two as well. So I feel like we're in an okay enough situation to just continue to do this. Wow. That's really unfortunate for us. Um, what is real? Okay, we'll take a couple cards from our opponent's deck. Uh, we'll find out what's going on in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your zombies right now before you play anything. That would be excellent. Ooh, we are in a lot of trouble right now. We are in a lot of trouble right now. Ten attack. There we go. We could use a top decking Shadow Reaper Anduin right now. That's for sure. Wait, is this also can't be targeted? Can't be targeted and stealth. Kind of brutal. Stranglethorn Tiger and Bear Shark. Love it. Love it. That's really good for our opponent. Uh, we were kind of expecting an Unleash the Hounds at some point. But this is much, much worse for us. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, maybe we could psychically scream some of these cards into their deck. Kill Command. Good, but not what we need. Wandering Monster. Good, but not what we need. Spirit Lash. Definitely not what we need. Uh, how do we do this now? I think we can Psychic and then set up a Wandering Monster, right? Do 
That also kind of buffs up our spellstone, which is really nice. Um, I think we're going to play our spellstone now. Probably three is enough. Uh, we really could use an archbishop. Uh, top decking Shadow Reaper. Did I miss something? <laughs> no, that was a joke. Um, we already have our Shadow Reaper. Charge, Battle Cry, Adapt. That's not the card that we want to mind control. Can't be targeted. Perfect. Um, Injured Blade Master. I'll take it. I'll take it because that eats that weapon charge. I'll take it because it eats the last weapon charge. <laughs> nah, you know what? It's obviously not the best. Oh, wow. Can't be targeted is really bad. Divine Shield is also bad. Um, is that honestly a mind control right now? Yeah, it has charge. Why not? Let's live a little. Can't be targeted. Wind Fury. <laughs> Stealth. Um, yeah, can't be targeted. All right. All right. Hey, Aledia, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good couple days. We have been, we've really been enjoying this priest deck today. We've been having some absolutely amazing, amazing games. And we're at the end of another one of the really good ones, so. Oh, this is just really, really good for us. Oh, no. A silencio from the silenced. I think this is still lethal for us, though. Um, kill command is more than two mana. This is still a beast, right? So he's still lethal with that. Oh, well played. Unbelievable. Hey, these are there's Archbishop Benedictus. Uh, when you don't even need him. And of course we need to win with the kill command. We just need to win with the kill command. That was an amazing, amazing game. Archbishop, final five cards. That's okay sometimes. I'll gladly take it. Let's have another one of these games. 